Welcome to Synagogues of France, Part 1. Our first stop is at a Lubavitch house in Massey. Before we go any further, we don't know how to pronounce words in French, so we're doing the best that we can. Massey is a suburb of Paris in the southern portion of the metropolitan area. Note the mezuzah on the right side of the doorpost to this building. The one other piece of information we can provide is that it has a mikveh on the premises. Oh, there is one other piece of information that there's a note that it was founded in February of 2016. We're not sure if it's referring to its Facebook page or to the branch of Chabad itself. And here is the Beit Chabad of Kehilat Shnei Or in the area called Albervilliers. It is a northeast suburb of Paris. As this is a large facility, it contains several components. Besides a shul or synagogue chapel, it also has a mikveh, a kosher store, and also some type of educational facility. Its main director is Rabbi Meyer Simcha Kalmanson, and he is assisted by Rabbi Nota Levertov and others. This branch was founded by Rabbi Shalom Mendel Kalmanson. In small print here, it lists the name of the person who is memorialized by this facility. The camera is looking at an historic synagogue site. This is the synagogue of Avignon. There was a synagogue as far back as 800 years ago. It was rebuilt between 1785 and 1787. Then there was a fire in 1845, and it was completely rebuilt in 1846. It is located on a street called Jerusalem Place. Here's a peek at inside the building. We shift over to another Lubavitch Chabad location in Baneul sur Mont, which is in the southeast suburbs of Paris. Rabbi Nisim Altabe is its director. It also has a mikveh. Here is the Jewish community center and synagogue of the Long Bilancourt. It is located in the western suburbs of Paris. This facility has not only a synagogue and services on a daily basis, but it also has a mikveh. This is an overhead shot of Yeshiva Tomchei Tamimim. It is located in Brunoy, which is a southeast suburb of Paris. It was founded in 1947 under Lubavitch guidance. It contains both a yeshiva, gedola, and katana. Rabbi Zalman Siegel is the director of the gedola section. Rabbi Yoel Edelman is the director of the katana section. And Rabbi Shmuel Brodowitz is the director of the beginners section. Our final stop on this tour takes us to another Lubavitch house, this time in an area well known throughout the world, the Khan area. Khan, also pronounced Cannes to most English-speaking people, is located on the French Riviera. Here is a peek inside its synagogue. We believe it is not located in the building that we're showing here, but closer to the tourist center. Regardless, this ends our first episode checking out the Jewish houses of worship in the country of France. The ones that we've seen do not exhibit an obvious display of its Jewish heritage and instead hide behind security coverage. That is the reality of today's France. Another episode is coming up, so bye for now and see you real soon.